Howdy all, this is Shane, I'm going to talk about the Fender DeVille 212 model. Now, not the model with the 410s, because I haven't personally owned that. I'm going to talk about the 212 model. I had one of these about five years ago, and the clean channel is awesome. It's silky smooth, it sounds fantastic. I believe that they were modeled somewhat on a basement clean tone, but I don't know. That's just what I've heard. I don't know how true that is, but they do sound good. They're basically a two-channel amp and the drive channel has an extra boost for even more gain. It's the more gain setting. So it comes with a foot switch and a cover, which is two things I think all amps should come with. If they would do that more often, we wouldn't have to spend even more money on stuff just to you know, protect the gear. The clean channel takes pedals really, really well. What I used to do with this amp was run a Voodoo Lab Sparkle Drive and a secondary overdrive pedal at the same time. So one would be on very, very small amounts of gain just dirtying up the clean and the second tube screamer would then be my lead tone and that was a great thing to do with that amp it did require two pedals but that was just a better tone than how i felt the drive channel sound the drive channel though did sound pretty cool i chose the 212 i just felt it had a richer fuller kind of sound it's still got that very scooped kind of tone it's really heavy in the lows and really nice and fendery sparkly in the highs but it just didn't have that thick mids but that's cool, I actually really dug that sound and I think it was very reminiscent of some of the stuff I was listening to at that time. These amps record really, really well. I just think you put a mic in front of a DeVille and it sounds awesome. The cleans or the pedal tone, whatever you do, it sounds really, really good. They're 60 watts so they're loud as nobody's business. They are really, really loud. They throw a lot of volume and they're almost too loud for a lot of venues. There was a time where I was just using the channel switcher to get my tone. And I found the first stage overdrive, not too bad on a DeVille because it's got that extended bottom right, bottom end. You can kind of get a pretty usable sound, but it's unfortunate with Fender amps or a lot of Fender amps that the drive channels are pretty much their big let down. And a lot of people do know that. You're buying a Fender amp mainly because it sounds great clean. Yeah, it's a really usable amp. I think it sounds great. The tubes that they put in there, the groove tubes sounded fine. I had no issues with that amp for the, about the two years that I owned it. I can't really say too many negative things about it, only that the extra drive channel for the kind of music I play was next to useless. Some of the best tone I ever heard was when that amp was up on about nine on the drive channel on the first stage. I had it cranked and it was so loud, but it sounded so good. But it was way too loud. I mean, there were complaints. You know, my friend was actually using the amp and it was just, it was like, ear explodingly loud but it actually just it was pretty epic and it's very rare that i i kind of feel that way about listening to devils but when they're really pushed they just sound magic it's just getting them to that point i really feel like there's no use for a 60 watt amp at least with what i do i love the sound of you know the fender clean if you want a lot of clean headroom 60 watts is great but if you want the dirty blues tone you're going to need pedals so you might as well just step it back and get something maybe a little less powerful. I think the only other bad thing really about the DeVille is that it's pretty heavy. If you don't mind lugging a pretty heavy amp around, then you should be okay. And I say pretty heavy because at the time it was one of the heaviest amps that I'd had until I got a Vox and the Vox was like about 20 pounds heavier or so it felt, I don't know the exact specs. So for me, I think a single 12 or a 212 combo will do the job, but I don't want to get a 212 combo louder than 30 watts. I, I really don't have a point with that because the AC30, for example, was way loud and that was a 212. So 60 watt is a little overkill for what I need. And I don't feel like the drive channel really offers you a great tone. Now, I'm not particularly talking about the new range of DeVilles. I haven't owned one of them. I've owned a previous version. So this is not to be considered the Hot Rod Series 3. I haven't had a DeVille of the new series. I do have a Blues Junior in that series and it's great. So there's been improvements along the way, but for the for what I've owned, I just think that they, they sound fantastic. The Clean Channel I liked more than my Fender Twin Clean and that's saying something. I think it sounded better mic'd up and it just it had more lush sort of tones in the speakers and that's 
another amp I'll be talking about very, very soon. That's the DeVille 212 combo by Fender. I've spent a lot of money on this junk and uh, it's time to unleash the list. So if you're enjoying these videos, give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Check out the description. I'm on Facebook if you want to have a chat or feel free to drop me comments or questions and I'll answer them as quick as I can. Thanks all. See ya.